Hey guys, so here is my video on how to seduce the zodiac signs. Um, before I get into the video, um, you can follow me on my social media over here, and if you want to buy a chart reading from me, um, pretty long, kind of pretty in depth, um, just a random offering if you want to buy one. Um, you can go to the email that I have here or you can go into the store that's in the description. Um, so continuing with the video, um, different astrologers will say different things. Um, you could use your Mars sign and your Venus sign for this because um, astrologers say like the seduction has to do with Venus for females or has to do with Mars for females and then Venus for males and then like switch the other way for like relationships but like I don't really see the point in it I mean to each their own but like I just personally don't see the point in like um, I just see Mars as a sign of sex and seduction so I just do that for both men and women so like I just you can apply your Venus sign if it wants if your Venus sign applies to you if you relate to it in this video then go ahead relate to it but I'm planning on just using Mars but I, Venus can be good as, too, as well. It could also be the sign on your 8th house cusp. Um, if you don't know what I mean, like I said, go into the nail chart calculator in my description and check your 8th house cusp. So Mars and 8th house cusp is what you should check for this video. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then go to the natal chart calculator that I have in the description. You have a sign in a you have a sign in a planet from the moment that you were born, and I'm going over Mars sign, the Mars sign in this video. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, like what's a Mars sign, then go into the description before you watch this video, because I don't want to see anyone commenting like, oh I'm a Libra and this doesn't relate to me. Then you have to find your Mars sign. Anyway, continuing with the video. Um, so. Aries, um, they'll seduce you by being kind of direct, basically. Um, they'll like, they'll just like, um, go after you because Aries is ruled by Mars, so that's action. That is, uh, perseverance. So they're gonna like, be very direct with you if they're trying to seduce you, trying to attract them, tra you're trying to attract you, they'll be like, they'll maybe wear, like, um, revealing clothing, um, don't see really how I can see applied to a guy unless they just completely like take off their shirt and their pants. I mean, they could do that, but like, you you know what I mean. They'll be direct, and they'll probably want to show off their body if they have a really nice one. And if not, then they'll like accentuate their head slash face because that's what Aries rules is like the face and the head. So they'll accentuate that part of their body. Taurus, they'll attract, they'll seduce you by being sensual, and they'll like dress up their body really nicely. They'll like accentuate all the best parts of themselves because it is an earth sign and they're about sensuality and it's about like um being kind of this undertone of sexuality but like it's more like sensual as they want to touch you they want to smell you i mean this sounds kind of like stalkerish but like they like the taste smell like all like the five senses like they'll want to have to do with that and so they'll accentuate every single possible sense they'll want to smell they'll make themselves smell good they'll make themselves look good obviously um i'm not sure how they can make themselves taste good but like you know i guess um anyway continuing gemini um gemini will appear as smart as possible um and most intelligent they will attract you with their wit and their intellectual side and their um really funny personality um they'll do that to seduce you it's all about the mind because it's ruled by mercury and so they're going to seduce you with their mind and try and um get, a, get you to switch your mind to start being attracted to them sexually cancer um they'll seduce you by being as like motherly as possible like i rock basically they'll want to be there for you it's like because Mars and Cancer, and Cancer in general, is like not a sexual sign, they can be, but only when there's like some sort of emotional attachment to that person. And so they'll like, kind of seem like they want to be in a relationship, um, assuming that if they want to be in a relationship, they want to have sex with you, and if they want to sex with you, they want to be in a relationship. It goes either way. So what I'm assuming for Mars and Cancer is that they'll um, just try to be a mother figure in your life and just appear as like feminine as possible or whatever accentuates then their feminine side basically because it's ruled by the moon and the moon represents the mother and is like the most feminine thing in your chart in, in your chart is your moon 
I think, unless it's Venus. Pretty sure it's the moon, though. Astrologers can disagree with me if they want to, but I th I, I'm pretty sure it's the moon. A Leo. Leo will seduce you by being as showy as possible, and they'll just dress themselves in like the best clothing, like like uh, like Chanel, like all that, all those like really big companies. They want to like show off that they have a lot of money. They want to show off that they have a lot of. Uh, like uh, stuff to offer regarding in the physical department because they usually have to compensate for something um, because that's Leo they like to make themselves like the best because they feel like they have to compensate for something that usually what happens with them but it's in a good way not always in a show-offy way they they mean good and they will dress themselves up in the best way possible and seem as like as um, effective in their seduction as possible, where that, that be through being loud or like um, just attracting you through their clothes, like, or their how fit, fit they are, stuff like that. Um, Virgo. Virgo will seduce you by being subtle. Um, it's not very easy to know because they'll most likely just, either they'll be like sitting in the corner just like waiting for you to come over and have like some sort of this like innocence to them, but they really aren't innocent. Um, but they'll appear that way anyway. And then if not, they'll, and if they're like not talking, if they are talking to you, then they'll be like of service to you. They'll be saying like, oh, I can do this for you. I can do this for you. I'm very service oriented, wink, wink. Um, they'll kind of be like that um, because, um, yeah, they're just like that because Virgo is service oriented. And if not, they'll be, they're really seductive when they want to be. I mean, they look, they can look innocent from afar, but up close, or like when you're actually getting personal and down into the dirty with them, they really aren't that innocent. Um, so yeah. Uh, Libra. Libra will seduce you by being, um, indecisive. <laughs> they'll, one day, they'll be like, uh, I am the seductor, seductress, and I, come over to me and I shall sexually please you and then the next day they'll be like nope and it'll be really frustrating and it's like a push and pull kind of and but they'll seduce you in a way that seems romantic sometimes but like one day it'll be really obvious the next day it won't and it'll just be like deciding like oh I don't know what to do the scales are unbalanced I don't know what to do um but they'll they'll try to seduce you and some days it w will work some days it won't so just be patient with them until they finally decide. Scorpio. Scorpio will seduce you by just walking, just blinking, just breathing. You'll naturally think that they're trying to seduce you, and a lot of the times it may not be true. I mean, they are a really sexual sign. Mars and Scorpio is very sexual um, when they can unlock it, and they just have a deep inter inner sexuality and a lot of the time people think that they're like trying to get in bed with them and a lot of the time sometimes it's true they like to sleep around sometimes they because they're sexual but like a lot of the times they're not trying to have sex with someone and they may like look like oh that person like that Mars and Scorpio is definitely trying to seduce me and they really aren't because they keep this front of like coolness and it's not that easy, but they'll seduce you when, like, you'll really, really, really know. Like, if you look hard, then you'll find out if they're seducing you, um, because they'll be dead set on you. Uh, Sagittarius, they'll seduce you by, like Gemini, trying to be as smart as possible, or well-knowledgeable, or well-traveled, um, or they'll be really direct with you. Um, they'll just be as direct as possible with you, um, like... <laughs> like be like, hey, you want to have sex with me? Honestly, that's what they'll kind of do, um, <laughs> uh, because Mars and Sagittarius is very blunt, and they don't have patience or time to deal with like push and pull stuff like other Earth and water signs may want to do, or like Leo because they like traumatics. But um, they'll they'll have like no strings attached and they just want to get they just want to cut to the chase a lot of the time a capricorn capricorn will seduce you by showing you how much money they have or how good they are at in their job or how much work they do they'll be like they like to show off about it they'll be like oh look at all this work i do 
I should be rewarded, wink wink. I have all this money that I could possibly give to someone for a certain service, wink wink. Um, I'm not um, condoning prostitution, but like, it was a joke. But um, uh, like I said, they like to show off whatever um, great attributes that they have about themselves that were in regards to money and work and stuff like that to their whatever person they're trying to seduce. And obviously they'll have a hint of sensuality just like Taurus with them. And they like to wear dark colors a lot of the time. Or stuff like that. They like to wear dark colors and like appear serious and um, put well put together. Aquarius, you won't even know how they try to seduce you. You just won't know because they're just like... I can't even think of a way that they try to seduce you other than like being your friend. And then even then you wouldn't know. They're just, it's really hard to like tell because they don't, they're so cold all the time and they just don't, like it's so hard to tell with Mars and Aquarius or just Aquarius. Like, um, it's, I, I really wouldn't know because they'll try to seduce you by being as weird as possible, I guess. They'll just be weird and then they'll be like, hey, maybe you want to have some sexual stuff going on with me, some intercourses that you want to do, because they'll be like awkward in the way that they'll try to seduce you and it'll come up as like really like, eh, like they'll, they maybe probably won't know how to seduce you or they just won't care enough to and I'll, I'll just wait for you in order to go after them. It's really hard to like decipher with them. Pisces will seduce you by being as mystical and ethereal and um, emotional as possible. Um, Pisces likes to have emotional connections just like Cancer to their sexual partners and they want to like seduce you as in like pulling the, you into their world and they just want to put out as much sexual, they want to have as many sexual fantasies as they have in their head and they want to act it out with you and they'll be like oh I really want to do this wink wink. Um, I, I think I did one wink there, but whatever, you know, you get what I mean. They have many sexual fantasies and they'll want to carry it out with you. Um, it's, maybe they'll tell you, maybe they won't. Pisces is a water sign, so it's going back and forth, back and forth. Um, so, um, it'll be in a very wishy-washy way if they seduce you, as in like, um, or they'll also try to seduce you in the way that they're like, oh, get high with me or get drunk with me and then we can have sex later. Um, that kind of thing. That's what I would imagine Mars and Pisces would do. So that was my video on how to, the, how the zodiac signs seduce you. So yeah, I hope you guys related to it. I hope so. I mean, I did for Mars and Virgo. But um, so yeah. I'm gonna do another kind of video like this, where it like where it goes over the all the signs and stuff, and then I'm gonna do another Mars sign today, um, and then put all three of these videos up today, hopefully, but it probably won't happen. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, buy a chart reading for me if you want to. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.